Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Imuna Project. We here at the Imuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice. And I want to comment on something interesting that Pharaoh's magicians said in the 8th chapter of the book of Exodus, verse 15. To recap up until that point, Moses and Aaron had come to Pharaoh and God told them to do these miracles and that will impress everybody. So Moses threw down his staff, the staff turned into a serpent, but Pharaoh's magicians, his sorcerers, they were able to do the same thing. Um, Moses stuck his hand into his cloak and pulled it out and it came all leprous. The magicians, the sorcerers, they were able to do the same thing. Not only that, but the plagues themselves. The first plague, dam, blood, turning water to blood. Pharaoh's magicians, poof, piece of cake. The second plague, tzardea, frogs, coming out of the Nile. Pharaoh's magicians, amateur stuff. They were able to replicate the second plague. But when it came to the third plague, kinim, lice, the sorcerers were not able to replicate this, either through illusions, like magic tricks, or actual magic. Now, there's a dispute between the Rambam and the Ramban as to whether the sorcerers were actually using actual magic or whether it was all an illusion. I'm not going to get into that right now. But something about the third miracle struck the sorcerers, the Pharaoh's magicians, that this wasn't actual run-of-the-mill magic, nor was it something that was an illusion, a trick, science that we don't understand yet. Something about the miracle of kinim, lice, impressed upon the magicians that something divine was at work here. And this is why the sorcerers said to Pharaoh, this is the finger of God. Sometimes what will happen in our lives are things that we simply cannot attribute to coincidence or this is just the way it is or it's just one of those things. Sometimes something will happen that will strike us that this is the creator at work. This is the finger of God. When it happens, it makes a powerful impression on you because we don't normally, although we should, we don't normally in our day-to-day -day lives see God at work, even though we're surrounded by miracles every day. We say, ah, that's just nature, the way it goes, flowers bloom, birds fly, the seasons change, no two, no two snowflakes are the same, day-to-day -day miracles, but every once in a while, something will come along that we can't just explain away. It's not just the way it is. It's just not a series of really remarkable coincidences. Every once in a while, some will happen. something will happen. And like Pharaoh's magicians, who could not attribute it to anything else, we will say to ourselves, this is the finger of God. Um, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. I hope you're finding them of interest. I hope you're finding some uh, inspiration, some solace uh, in them. Uh, and until next time, on behalf of the Amuna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.